with the oil and gas industry looking more dependent on foreign labor. And as Ugandans slowly come to grips with its demands, investments in specialized skills development is critical. We cannot give you the exact figure. But uh, when we have that strategic plan, we should, or a costed institutional development plan, then we should be able to say we need maybe 200 billion. It's not small money because I can assure you what we have invested so far is beyond 33 billion. Addressing the old age skills deficiency, according to officials at the Institute, may require an overhaul of the current curriculum to improve on teacher training. It is very difficult to connect theory and practice at the institution, whereas for us here, we do it immediately, such that there is practically no gap between what has been learned and what they are going to find in the industry. That's the, and one of the advantages you have with the small numbers of a class of 30. And for those with hopes of undertaking specialized petroleum studies, it may not come easy. Even with full-time government sponsorship programs, one may need a little more good marks. You must apply through the Joint Admission Board system. Uh, but clearly, at times, uh, we may not realize all the numbers through the system. We, we also have uh, direct entry here. Uh, but you must have basically performed well in physics, mathematics. So as Uganda prepares itself for the oil and gas sector, this is one of the facilities put in place at the Uganda Petroleum Institute in Chigumba. In this room we have high-end machinery like this hydraulic presser. And students shunned out of this institute, it is hoped, will have world-class standards needed in the oil and gas sector. For instance, professional engineers in petroleum, professional welders and professional electricians. This will later on get certification, which is, of course, in the process by French partners and the government of Uganda through the institute. According to a recent BTC labor market scan, over 1,800 jobs will be created in the oil sector alone, with most on-demand skills being welders and electricians.